How's it going guys? Stonewall here with Raised by Sharks. Today on the channel we're breaking down the bowgun mods. Okay, for now we're going to skip the special ammo mods. We're going to get to those at a later time. For now we're going to talk about the barrels. These are actually very, very critical and if you confuse the two of them it will really just destroy your whole build. I was using the long barrel for a while because I was like, okay, I'm using pierce build. I want to be at a further range to go with the range attack up like on this gun right here, the Crimson Kadachi, or if you're on Baleful Knight, I was using the range attack up with the long barrel like this. See, I haven't even switched over after I figured this out. The long barrel increases the speed that your bullet travels and extends both your maximum and critical range. Now, after testing it in the training arena, it really only extends your maximum range by like maybe two steps, three steps backwards, and your critical range by two steps backwards. It's very, very ineffective and not worth it. Honestly, even if you're not going to use the power barrel, I suggest avoiding the long barrel. Because especially on Pierce, I noticed it happening when I switched to the long barrel. Increases the ammo speed by so much that a lot of the times, when you shoot the Pierce bullet through the monster, it procs less because it travels through them so much quicker that it doesn't have the time to proc. Power barrel is very, very useful if you're using a Pierce build. When I switched from long barrel to power barrel and tested it in the arena, I was doing an extra about 13% DPS constantly, consistently, because it slows down your ammo, which you might think would make you miss more frequently, but if you never use the long barrel in the first place, it's the neutral speed. But it increases the piercing damage, boosts stun effects, and exhaust effects. It lets you hit more frequently than the base. So base pierce 3 ammo, I believe, lets you hit 3 times per tick. I have noticed that when I use the power barrel, I could sometimes hit up to 10 ticks. It's a very good barrel, a very good mod. If you're using a pierce build, heavily suggest. Alright, now that you know a little bit more about the heavy bowgun mods, you can go and put your build together a little more informed. And some of these things had little hidden effects, and I hope you learned about it. And I hope you have a better time hunting. Thanks for watching Raised by Sharks. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for more.